What's up guys, Bobby here from Wedding Film School, a channel dedicated to educating and inspiring filmmakers. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can easily export your films for a variety of social media platforms in Final Cut with just a few clicks. Now every platform is different, but as of the release of this video, TikTok, Instagram stories and reels, and even YouTube shorts all require or greatly prioritize vertical videos. I don't like it either. I would much prefer to have one export and get to show my films in their original aspect ratio, but the reality is that you are greatly hurting your video's performance if you aren't uploading vertical videos on some of these platforms. Luckily, in a somewhat recent update from Final Cut, it is now easier than ever with their automatic social media export tool. Let me show you how. As of this moment, I have been using this exact method to get videos up on TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, and I'm just starting to try out YouTube Shorts. Because of the various time restrictions, I'm doing shorter pieces of a full wedding film, but of course you can do any length that you want. So I've got my highlight video here and I'm gonna pull out pieces. I'm gonna work this around a toast from these grandparents. Uh, right here, because I think that's something that might perform well. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a new project. And this project I'm going to make custom because our aspect ratio is uh, 235.1, so we do 1920 by 816. And this is kind of like my prep timeline, if that makes sense. All right, so I've got my shots and my audio pulled out. Now this is not a direct take from the highlight film. I moved a few shots around just to grab things that I thought might be a little bit better. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that project that we made, that timeline that we made, which we called TikTok Sophie Jim, and I'm gonna right click it once it's all set up, of course, and it's ready to go. And I'm gonna click on duplicate project as. Then this menu pops up. I'm gonna change the video from custom, which is what I had it, to vertical. And I'm gonna change the resolution to 1080 by 1920. You could of course do a 4K setting if you shot in 4K. And then you wanna check this button here, Smart Conform, and that's what tells Final Cut that it needs to conform those shots to the vertical aspect ratio and it needs to take its best guess at how you want them to line up. So if you wanted to do a little bit of work ahead of time, you could cut each of the clips individually. I was pulling this from an already finished project to show you guys. So if you are working with the actual camera files, then you won't have this issue at all. But you'll notice for me that I'm gonna have to go in and readjust some of the framing because there are multiple clips and Final Cut is guessing based on the first clip or the middle clip or something like that. All right, so we've got this project finished here and you can see that it has automatically guessed on how to conform where exactly it's lining up and it does a pretty darn good job. I'm gonna scrub through the different clips here and if there's something that I wanna change, I can go ahead and change it, but so far so good. I'm gonna make a cut because I wanna readjust this just a little bit. And then I'm gonna move this one over just a little bit as well. And then you can go ahead and export that sequence and you are ready to upload in the vertical format to the social media platform of your choice. So as you can see, it is a pretty simple process that works well. It's not perfect, you definitely wanna check everything, but it has definitely made this process much more streamlined. I've got another video in the works talking about some other types of videos that I've been doing for these various vertical platforms. So make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.